The Republican National Convention in Milwaukee will still take place beginning tomorrow following that assassination attempt. Federal, state, and local law enforcement officials in Wisconsin are on high alert as the delegates begin to arrive for this week's convention. KTLH Jean King is live at a GOP office in Encino this morning with more on the RNC's security concerns. Jean, good morning. Good morning, Alina and Lauren. We have moved over to Encino. This is the Los Angeles GOP office where many people will be talking about those tighter security measures at the Republican National Convention slated for tomorrow in Wisconsin. This morning, we're taking a live look. This is the actual venue where security will be very tight as they are getting ready for that Republican National Convention. This is the Fiserv Forum, the stadium where a lot of people will be in Milwaukee tomorrow. We're talking tens of thousands of people. This after that deadly shooting at the former President Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania. Now, this video with the Republican National Convention fast approaching, the Secret Service is taking the lead and adopting an all hands on deck strategy. Multiple agencies involved, including the head of their chief of, chief of police in Milwaukee. Now, 50,000 people are expected to flood their downtown Milwaukee area. Law enforcement agencies making citywide safety remains a top priority for them, not just the venue itself. And Milwaukee's police chief emphasized the need for comprehensive coverage all across the city, including that venue. And the Secret Service has assessed the security situation for the convention. And so far, they say it is evolving. It is changing constantly this morning. They have not identified any credible threats specifically targeting the convention. In a new threat assessment report, federal officials say special political events like the RNC are attractive targets for violent extremists, foreign terrorists, and lone offenders looking to disrupt democratic institutions or cause societal chaos. And according to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, there has been a lot of money going to security measures. In fact, 70 five million dollars in federal grant money. Here's the head of Secret Service. They're talking about guns being allowed at that venue and of course all of those safety measures that are ever changing. While recent concerns about demonstrations outside the RNC have been raised, I would like to reassure everyone that the Secret Service and our public safety partners respect every American's First Amendment right to express themselves. Well, in contrast to previous convention locations, Wisconsin state law prohibits Milwaukee from banning firearms. This is interesting. However, guns will be restricted in credential required areas closer to the venue. The Secret Service has clarified that only law enforcement officers on duty will be allowed to carry weapons in what they're calling the hard zone this morning. And federal officials characterize the security situation as constantly changing tomorrow for the RNC and the Democratic National Convention, which is scheduled for August in Chicago. And we know that there have been many politicians on both sides of the aisle speaking out. Florida Senator Rick Scott says on X, formerly known as Twitter, the director of the Secret Service needs to come out as soon as possible and let us know how this happened and how everyone at the RNC and DNC conventions will be safe. Now back out here live, we know as well the Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers has also said on X that his staff is in close contact with the local mayor in Milwaukee and the director of the Secret Service because they want this to go as smoothly as possible in the aftermath of that assassination attempt. Reporting live here in Encino, Gene Kang, back to you in the studio.